Meet Zoro, the indomitable swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates and a character whose influence in One Piece knows no bounds. As the crew's second in command and a powerhouse in his own right, Zoro's strength is legendary. But what if I told you that he's destined to reach heights that will leave you in awe? In this video, we're about to unravel the secrets of his unparalleled journey, predict the astonishing heights he'll reach by the series end, and answer one burning question, just how strong will Zoro become at the end of One Piece? At first, let's talk about Zoro's current strength. Zoro trained for two years with Mihawk during the time skip, and by the looks of it, the vast majority of this training was focused on the usage of Haki. During this time, Zoro improved his Haki tremendously and got even stronger than ever before. He first utilized his strength properly during the fight against Piker in Dressrosa, however, it wasn't until the Wanu arc that he was truly tested in the new world. In Wanu, Zoro not only fought against two Yonko, but he also ended up fighting against King the Wildfire, one of the three right-hand men of Kaido. Zoro did incredibly well in this fight even though he struggled initially. And at the end of the fight, Zoro awakened Conqueror's Haki properly and learned how to channel the advanced version of it. He then proceeded to fight King on an even footing, and at the same time, even overwhelm him. Where, King was absolutely no match for Zoro after he awakened this power, and Zoro tore through him and named himself the King of Hell. At the end of the War of Wanu, Zoro received a bounty of 1.111 billion berries, which is absolutely staggering. In terms of strength, Zoro is extremely powerful right now and the fact that he defeated King is proof of that. In fact, it should be remembered that Zoro defeated King when he did not have perfect control over his Haki. He is still learning how to use it the best way possible and how to better his control over this power. It will take him time, and currently, he's likely stronger than he was in Wanu. It can be assumed that Zoro's current level of strength is above that of an average Yonko first mate, Zoro is most certainly stronger than King and also the likes of Katakuri. He now has to take the next step and get even stronger. Assessing his power level currently is hard, however, if one has to take a guess, then Zoro would currently be somewhere between the level of a Yonko first mate and an admiral. Of course, Zoro can now fight against an admiral, however, defeating them would be very hard for him at the moment. For that, he would need to improve his Haki control even more. Now that the power level for Zoro has been established, we can turn towards the final saga of One Piece and see what Zoro can potentially gain and how he can get stronger. In the final saga of One Piece, Zoro will most certainly fight against some powerful opponents. Currently, One Piece is in the Egghead Island arc and Zoro has already clashed with some very powerful enemies. He initially fought against Kaku who was in his awakened state, and he was certainly stronger than ever before. However, Zoro was able to deal with him effortlessly without even utilizing his full power. Zoro then proceeded to find against S-Hawk, unfortunately, he was not able to do anything significant in the fight against S-Hawk, however, we should remember the fact that he was able to hold his own just as well. On the day of the Egghead incident, Zoro clashed against Rob Lucci and this has certainly been an intense fight. It appears that both of these fighters seem even at the moment and Zoro has been successfully able to hold his own against him. Zoro is utilizing his full power against Lucci, as is evident from the fact that he has Conqueror's Haki being channeled into his swords. In his King of Hell form, he can certainly fight and overwhelm Lucci, however, this will be a difficult battle for him. Zoro is around the same level of strength as Lucci, who was already injured by Luffy during their fight. Zoro will most definitely have to fight Lucci to the end and after that, the final saga will see him again fight even more powerful enemies. There are quite a lot of powerful foes that Zoro has to overcome and these include the likes of the Marine Admirals. From here onwards, the Marines will be heavily involved in One Piece and Zoro will most definitely have to trade blows with them. Luffy defeated Kizru recently in the story, and it will soon be time for Zoro to take on one of these powerful admirals and best them in combat. For Zoro, taking on any of the admirals would work as we have already seen the current admirals wield swords. Kizru wields the Sword of Light, while Fujitora has a regular sword that is powered by gravity, and Green Bull has a sword that he hasn't used just yet. Zoro can easily fight against any of them in the future, but given that he has already traded blows with Fujitora, it is highly likely that he will be the one to fight against Zoro. Of course, this fight will be difficult for him, given that Fujitora is no pushover and has a bounty of 3 crowns, equivalent to 3 billion berries, on his head. Zoro is not on that level just yet, however, he will have to get stronger while fighting, as he always has. So, about Zoro's end of series power level. At the end of One Piece, Zoro will have to get even stronger than the level of an admiral, he has to take himself to the level of a Yonko. We know that Zoro's goal is to defeat Mihawk, the world's strongest swordsman, and Mihawk is currently on the same tier as the Yonko, although he might not be as strong as the likes of Shanks. Regardless, Zoro will have to fight against this powerful enemy and defeat him in combat, 
Being able to beat him means that Zoro will be on the same level as the Yonko at the end of the series, which would be the ideal level of power that one should be hoping for him to reach. And that's it for today, I hope you all enjoy this video and I also ask you to subscribe to help us, it will also help us to grow more and if you like please subscribe.